Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the washing machine in the background, but you know, real life must go on. Um, so today I wanted to bring you a little kitchen Amazon haul. So let's go. Wonderland and on this channel we do crafting, decluttering and some home fragrance. So if you are new here and that sounds of interest then please do consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. It is completely free and you'll be updated when I next upload a video. If you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It is another free way you can help me out and it really, really does help. So thank you so much. So today we are going to be opening these boxes and seeing what it is that I have bought from Amazon. We have done a couple of little kitchen upgrades um, with the stuff in these boxes. Also bought a new kettle. Um, let me just turn it over there. You see that? Very nice. So that came earlier. This is our old one. Very old, very lime scaly, not liking it at all. So um, we decided to get a new one and it's glass and it lights up, it's very pretty. So that is very cool. And in here, I've got something else to go with that. So I am gonna get a pair of scissors. And we're gonna open these boxes. So I believe that what we have got in here is a filter jug because We've got quite hard water. Oh, God. Careful, girl. Um, we've got hard water in our area and it does scale up the um, kettle quite a lot. So we decided to go for a water filter jug so that we can stop that from happening so much. So one of them is going to be that. One of them is going to be something to help me organise slash declutter. So I'm excited for that. And one of them is upgrading something. So let's see what we've got first. Oh, our upgrade. Bear with, cat wants to go on. Um, you shouldn't be eating that little lady. No. No. Kitty, yeah. Okay, so we have got... Oh, two things in here. So we have got... A new cutlery set. I went through a declutter before we moved and I basically was like well there's only three of us in the house so a set of four knives and forks is all we need. Um, we just had too many of everything and it was all mismatched so I just took it down to a set of four of everything and then we've had people round and we've not had enough knives and forks for everybody so I was just like okay maybe it's time to start again also got an issue with the fact that my other half insists on using our people forks for the cat food and I don't know if you're like that I know it's just meat and jelly and it's not anything I want to eat but it's not going to do me any harm and it gets washed but we have just got two forks that are specific for the cat food and they're different to the other forks yeah he refuses to remember and use them. So we have got that, which I will open in a mo. And then we have got this. So this is the organization, counter shelf organizer. So that is to help me out in one little project that I will do with you. So that's one box down. I forgot about that actually. I thought that was the other organizing. I bought two organizing things. So this is the water jug. So we've got a Brita. Oof, nearly as big as the actual box. That was good packing. And we got the six one. Glasses are falling down. 
So this is half a year's worth of filters in here. So that is really good as well. So that is that. And then the last box. Now I could have got these in fewer packages and had them tomorrow, but it was really weird because the kettle came first thing this morning and then the rest of it came at lunchtime. And it was like, well, if that was gonna be the case, why couldn't you have just brought them all together? They still came on the same day. And this one big box was just for this part of the organizing. So there we have it. Okay, so let's open the water filter first. It has a 30 day money back guarantee, which is nice. 12 month warranty by registering it. Okay, so this is the jug. Now I'm not fussed about filtered drinking water myself. I am quite happy to fill a jug from the tap and put it in the fridge and drink that. I like fridge cold water, but this is more to filter out the stuff that makes the, um, the water line scale up. So here is the jug. So this jug is literally just going to sit on the side um, got a little spout thing there so when you pour it um so that we can fill the kettle up with it so that is the whole purpose of this one so there we go so you've got the jerk nice big jerk i can't remember how many liters it is off the top of my head then you have got the filter bucket. You've got the filters that you pop into the bottom and then you fill it up with water. Lid on and it has got the start stop here so that you can press it when you've put your filter in so you know when to change it. So that is very cool. My cat is now having a mad five minutes because she's just eaten her dinner. There is nothing wrong with her, I promise. And so that we then have six of these. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we decided to go with that one because it was actually cheaper when you looked at it. Um, I think the jug ended up being about seven pounds if you paid the ongoing rate for the filters. So it was the cheapest option to do. Got the instructions there. Put that inside there. Got a code on that that I think I need, so I'm not going to throw it in the bin just yet. But that is the filters and the water jug. I'm gonna be able to fill that up and have a cup of tea because I haven't had one all morning. I lie, I have. I haven't had one this afternoon because I unplugged the old kettle and we were waiting for those filters. Okay, so next let's have a look at the knife and fork set. I know, don't, don't let kids watch this video. I am absolutely horrendous with scissors it seems. Okay, so it's a really nice box. It's heavy. It's a 32 piece set. Oh, and it's got different colors here and a little tick box, but they haven't ticked any of it. So hope it's what I was expecting. Okay, so there we go. Okay, knives, forks, big spoons. I don't know why I said knives and forks, they were teaspoons, because the knives are just here. Knives. They are weighty. So let me just get one of each out so we can have a look. Ow. Just break the plastic out. Okay, I 
love getting new new sets of things but the hoarder in me wants to keep all the old stuff as well so that is the problem that we are trying to get ourselves around mm. okay so here is your spoon here is your fork here is the knife and the teaspoon So, first impressions, I like the knife, I like the thickness of the metal, it's got a nice weight to it. I think it's a shame that the other implements don't have that. This is what we're kind of used to, a bit of a thicker something to grab, and I know for a knife you kind of need that, you don't need it as much with the others, but it's the weight difference is pretty it almost feels like double the weight and I like something that's a bit weighted so this to me is a little bit more like what we have um, that my daughter doesn't like rather than the set that we've got that she does so I am not 100 on this I am going to sit and think about this before I unwrap them all and put them out I might send these back and try something else because that to me is much better. Let me get my current set and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is our current knife and fork set that we have had for donkey's years. And if you look at the knife, that is similar kind of thickness. It's a nicer shape. It's a slightly bigger knife as well. Um, but weight-wise, it's of similar par. This is our old style forks, and this is the new one, and I can already tell instantly this one is much, much lighter. Um, Thickness-wise, I don't think there is much difference. However, it just, you know, that one, it's so much lighter. It just feels cheaper, I suppose. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that. So we will have to see. I'm going to sit on it for a little bit and see what I think. Um, but that is the knife and fork set. So I'll just put all of that back in there because it might well go back yet. We'll see if they'll let me return it as I've taken the plastic off the outside. Okay, and then we get on to the organising stuff, which is what I am truly excited about. I know, it's terrible. You get to a certain age, don't you? And I always turned around and said, when I was younger, and I would see, like, my dad had bought my mum a washing machine for a birthday or something, and I'm like, are you kidding me? No, just, just not, that's not a birthday present. That's a household item that you would need regardless, you know? And it's just, it's not a present. And then you get to a certain age and you get excited about these things. So maybe it is more of a present, I don't know. I have to say that if any of these had come as a present for me, I think I would have been a little bit disappointed, but... I do enjoy new things to help me organise. So, oh, this is <laughs> this is very much a put it together kind of situation. I didn't expect that. Okay, so what we have got is some shelves that are going to help me have some extra room in my cupboards over here. So, let me take you over and show you what we're working with. This is the spice cupboard. And we have put these spice racks in here, which are great. They work really, really well. But then you've got that mess in there. 
So I wanted to be able to put an extra kind of height shelf in there so we can put some more stuff in. Um, and it's also sort of double stacked up there as well. So this is a two pack um, stand um, like this. So there's two of them and they should be just the height that they're gonna go over the, um, the door um, hangers. So hopefully that will work out with that. And then the last thing that we have got, I'm not gonna sit here and make you watch me build them all, but I will do a time lapse and show you what I am doing with it all. These are for my drawers. She hopes she's got them the right size and stuff. So there are four long ones to divide the um, length of the drawers and then you have got these four here that go between the draw edge and one of these or between two of these to make shorter. And I just wanted that to, to help with the mess that's this drawer, let me show you. Okay guys, no judgment on this drawer, okay? No judgment. So you see the cardboard? Was so I could test whether it would work out okay to have these kind of things in there and I actually liked it so I decided to get the real ones so you know there's a method to the madness I would like one of those drawer knife holders I actually saw that on um on Mikkel Jancy's um vlog recently literally watched it yesterday after I'd ordered all of this and she's moving out of her apartment. So she pulled over, she goes, I had this knife block on the side, but I don't like to have stuff on my side. So I got one of these and it was like a knife stand that sits in your drawer. And I was like, oh, need one of those. <laughs> you always need something that you haven't got. So those are my organizational things. So I'm gonna get those on the go and um, we will see where we get to. I am excited to have things look a little neater, a little bit more organized in the drawers. Okay, so the instructions, washing's done. Um, the instructions for this little shelfy thing just shows it's really, really simple. You just put the little um, Allen key bolts in the top and screw them in except it's like they have been drilled out specifically to go in a certain way. So it's not universal. So I tried to do it one way um, and they actually, they bolt together to the second shelf. So there are holes in the legs that are bigger that go on top of the other shelf. And then the holes on the other side of the legs are smaller to grip onto the bolts. So at first I was putting them in and they were just falling straight through. I was like, that's not gonna hold what's going on. And then I tried to do it the other way round and I could get one in, but couldn't get the other one in because the legs needed to be on the other end of the, excuse my crazy cat, on the other, other way round and back to front and all sorts. So if you get these, just know that they likely do go together. You've just got to go until you get the combination that actually works. So I'm now gonna take all of the stuff off of this shelf, um, see if I can get that in, see if I can close the door okay, and then start making it look pretty. it just gives that so it's just got a bit more space and it's not stuffed to the rafters so the top shelf still I can't see up there so it doesn't really matter not to me um but you can see easier the things that are behind the things it's just easier to see it um and it's all got a space which is good now it only just shuts because of these the distance between this leg and that leg is exactly just either side of this so it's got to be sat right in the middle 
for the door to be able to shut. which I'm sure is gonna get on someone's nerves, but I like it. So that is it. Showed Matthew the knives and forks. He wasn't too impressed with the um, thickness of the forks either. So I'm definitely going to look at seeing about getting those sent back. Now I'm going to tackle this drawer. just right actually so when you um, get them there's a little piece of wood just in there and if you push down oops push down that releases that little piece of wood and it'll fall out and then that will extend however that is about the width of my drawer so they are just wide enough these I could have done with some that were a little bit wider perhaps um, because if I show you what I have done, I have made this one smaller and I did have this wider. I mean, it fits perfectly like that and I think it looks okay. But this one then ends up a little bit too wide for me. So that is how I've got it set out. There are some pieces on here. Um, the cake stuff is going to go into a box in the cupboard with cake stuff because we don't bake very often. So they don't need to be cluttering up the drawers. But that just looks so much nicer than it did before. Um, did I do it before? I did show you the before, didn't I? <laughs> I was just like, oh, that's great. I didn't even show you the before, but I did. So this is much neater, much tidier, um, much more pleasant to look at. So that's fantastic. I now have some other drawers to do, but I'm going to save that because I need to edit a video for you guys so that I can get it up. So that is kind of my little kitchen haul, um, little discovery of new things in the kitchen which I love some new stuff in the kitchen disappointed with the knives and forks um we'll let you know what we do about that um got two long ones and three of these little ones left so I can go and create some more storage solutions in other drawers which I will do um and yeah that's it for today so if you have enjoyed this little video then please do give it a thumbs up it really helps me out i'd really appreciate it if you haven't yet subscribed and hit that notification bell please do that it's a free way you can support me and you'll get notified the next time i upload excuse the cat in the background i will see you guys next time bye for now Bye.